Hey, how to heaven viewers. So today's gonna be a quick video, not about cars today. Today we're talking mowing cartridge replacements. And I'm gonna give you a, just a couple of quick tips. It's not gonna be a long video, but it's gonna help you to get that uh, shower cartridge out. And I'll be right back. Enjoy the video. So with everything COVID, it's getting hard to get pretty much everything. So uh, here's a quick tip. Mowing products are guaranteed for life. So if you need a cartridge and yours starts dripping, call Moen. They'll send you out one for free. So what happens is every Moen cartridge replacement comes with a little plastic tool and uh, it's worthless. So your cartridge goes in here like this and it's just a slip fit. So you'd think it'd be easy to come out. Well, not after, you know, five, 10, 15, 20 years, it's not gonna come out very easily. So they send you a little plastic tool and you're supposed to put the tool on the shaft and then turn it 45 to 90 degrees in both directions. It loosens it up, it pops out. Great, but it doesn't work. And let me show you what happens. Uh, you put the plastic tool on, you turn it with the wrench, the tool opens up, it twists, but the cartridge won't. So what you're going to do is you are going to use this. Now this is a homemade uh, tool, it's a slide hammer. And all I did was I took that end nut off right there and I put a screw in that's the same size as this shaft and that holds the uh, keeper for the handle. So it's a Phillips screw, you take it out and then uh, just insert a screw into your slide hammer here. And um, gentle taps, you don't wanna break your plumbing in the wall, but that's gonna get it out because uh, there's no amount of twisting force that is gonna work on this tool that they give you. You're supposed to move this back and forth with the appropriate wrench, which in this case is a 9 16 so you put that on there, you go back and forth, it loosens the cartridge, pulls right out. Except it doesn't. It does not pull out, it does not twist. So, you do the slide hammer gently, twist, slide hammer, twist this back and forth. And in the end, it's the slide hammer that's gonna get the job done. So, that's my tip. Use a slide hammer. Anything else is just trouble. So, what other observations can we make? besides the valve falling apart. So what I was saying about COVID is it's getting real hard to get a cartridge there on back order. So now they're selling or sending out the rubber kit and you're supposed to rebuild yours and put it back in. One thing I noticed because I was able to get a cartridge is that this cartridge does not have two O-rings. It has one, one O-ring here and nothing over there. You'll notice the old cartridge has two O-rings. So, um, that's how Moen's replacing them these days, just one O-ring. Uh, another tip is you wanna get yourself some of this. It's like silicone is all it is. And you, you're gonna lube around here and these little pads here. And if you wanna put some in the hole, lubricate that and push it in and it'll help the cartridge to go in easier. As far as taking this apart, it's in the instruction manuals. But the one thing I will advise is before you start twisting it, is you pull this pin out. The pin goes right in there and that's the cartridge keeper. Also, if you don't put that pin in and you turn your water on, you're gonna have a geyser coming out of here. So, those are the tips for today. It's a 1222 Moen shower cartridge replacement video and I hope it helps you because that is a nightmare to get out without a slide hammer. Okay, one more bit of advice. When you're putting this uh, shower valve on, if you'll notice these two tabs here, one on the bottom and one on the top, one says HC and that goes up. The HC goes up. Thanks for watching How To Heaven. Catch you on the next one.